This Insanity of God film is so helpful, I believe, for the church, particularly in North America, because it brings to the surface a theology and understanding of suffering as it relates to the Great Commission that we sorely need to hear it. Most of us have grown up in what we have considered a Christian nation, and uh, life has been very comfortable for us and many of us have never experienced being persecuted for the faith. This is a, a, a wake-up call to the modern-day church that the real world that is beyond us does not live in the comfort and the safety that we enjoy. When you talk about Nick and Ruth's story and the insanity of God, um, it's a powerful, moving, emotional story. And I'm a filmmaker, so I love powerful, emotionally moving stories. There are very few movies that are life-changing movies. This is a radically life-changing movie. No matter how close you are to Jesus, you'll feel much closer to Jesus after this movie. I would say pastor, church leader, lay leader, if you truly want your people to understand what it takes to follow Christ no matter what, in their context, in their setting, go watch this movie. It will change your life, it will change your church, and it will all be for the sake of the gospel. We are one church. It is one church, and the ways that we can get involved with believers in persecution is by praying with them, by standing with them, by equipping them so that they can do the work that they're doing. I don't think there is a, there is a greater work for a Christian than the missionaries that are putting themselves in harm's way, and I don't think uh, we are as aware of their stories as we should be. We need to be praying continually for our persecuted brothers and sisters around the world and learning more and more about how they're persecuted in order to know how best to pray for them and how best to come alongside and serve them. Go to a theater on August 30th and watch this film.